What's up, student hustlers? Today, we're gonna to be diving into the five best remote jobs for students to stack that cash while crushing their studies. Now, listen up. I've been in your shoes, grinding through school, trying to make ends meet. In fact, back when I was 13, and I was a horrible student at the time, I found myself homeless on the streets of Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah, you heard that right. But instead of giving up, I started my first YouTube channel, started uploading RuneScape videos, and started doing all kinds of other things to make money. Now, was I making bank? Heck no. But it taught me something crucial. There's always ways to make money if you're willing to put in the work. Modern problems require modern solutions. Now, fast forward to today, the world has changed and the opportunities for making money online are absolutely insane. So whether you're trying to pay off student loans, save up for that spring break trip, or you just want some extra cash for weekend shenanigans, I've got you covered. Now, before we dive in, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you want more content on how to build your empire while you're still in school. Trust me, future you will thank you for it. Now, let's talk about why remote jobs are a game changer for students. First off, flexibility. You can work around your class schedule, study sessions, and yes, even those late night pizza runs. Second, you're building real world skills that'll give you a leg up after graduation. And third, you're making connections in industries you might want to work in later. It's kind of like getting paid to network. How sick is that? All right, let's get into it. First one on the list is going to be a shocker, but that's online game tester. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, are you serious? Getting paid to play games? But hear me out. Back when I was grinding on RuneScape, I never imagined you could actually make money testing games. But here we are in 2024, and it's a legit hustle. Now, game developers need fresh eyes to spot bugs, give feedback on gameplay, and make sure their games are actually fun. And who better to do that than us, the generation that grew up with a controller in our hands. Now, don't expect to make millions, but you can easily pocket $15 to $20 per hour. Plus, you might get early access to games before they even hit the market. How cool is that? And to get started, check out platforms like Playtest Cloud or Beta Family. They're always looking for new testers. Remember, though, this isn't just about playing games. You need to be detail-oriented, and you need to be able to provide constructive feedback. Feedback. It's a job, not just playtime. Now here's a pro tip. Start a blog or a YouTube channel documenting your game testing experiences. Not only will it help you stand out to potential clients, but you might even build a following and create another income stream. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Speaking of social media, the next one on the list is going to be a social media manager. Now this one's close to my heart because when I was 17, I got into a huge truck accident, totaled my first vehicle, and I thought I was gonna die. But you know what? The accident made me realize that I needed to pivot. I started looking at other ways to make money, and that's when I really dove into the online world. As a social media manager, you're basically the voice of a brand online. You're creating content, engaging with followers, and helping businesses build their online presence. And the best part? Most businesses have no clue how to use social media effectively, and that's where you come in. You've grown up on these platforms, you know what works and what doesn't, and you can start managing social media for local businesses or even your university clubs. Then you would build a portfolio, and before you know it, you could be making $20 to $30 an hour, all while scrolling through your Instagram and TikTok. But here's where you can really love Level up. Learn about social media advertising. I'm talking about content creation, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, and SEO. Because businesses will pay top dollar for someone who can not only create content, but also run effective campaigns. And don't just stick to the big platforms. Keep an eye out for emerging social media trends. Remember, MySpace was king once upon a time. So you always want to stay ahead of the curve and always be in demand. And by the way, if you want some free training on exactly how you can get into a digital marketing related career like the ones that I just talked about, that free training will be down in the description and the pinned comment below. And this will show you exactly how a bunch of people on my channel, including James, who is a 16 year old, were able to get jobs in digital marketing. Next, number three is going to be an online tutor. And this one is an absolute no brainer, especially if you're crushing it in your classes. So when I was in pharmacy school, I started tutoring other students on how to pass this test called the PCAT. That stands for the Pharmacy College Admissions Test. And I was making over $100 an hour doing it. Yeah, you heard that right. $100 an hour as a student who had no idea how to do business. Now, the reason I was making so much money is because I found a really good niche. And the key here is absolutely to find your niche. Maybe you're a math whiz or you've got a knack for explaining complex science concepts. Whatever it is, there's someone out there willing to pay for your knowledge. And the more niche you can get, the better. For instance, if you're a nursing student and you scored really well on a nursing exam, some sort of standardized test to get into nursing school or maybe to get into a higher level of nursing school, that would be a perfect thing for you to tutor people on. If you're an accounting student and you scored really well on some sort of standardized accounting test, that would be really good. And if you're a high
high school student and you scored really well on the ACT or the SAT, or you got really good at taking some sort of IB or AP test, that would be a really good thing for you to tutor on as well. Now, in order to get started, just to build your portfolio up, you can go on platforms like TutorMe or Chegg Tutors, because these are really good places to start. Or if you're feeling a little bit entrepreneurial, you can set up your own tutoring services and market it on campus. Remember, you're not just making money here, you're actually reinforcing your own knowledge and building valuable skills for the future and getting paid to do it. But here's where you can really stand out. Create your own study materials, and I'm talking cheat sheets, practice tests, video explanations, etc. And not only will this help students, but you can also sell these materials separately. And it's all about creating multiple income streams. And don't limit yourself to academic subjects. With platforms like Skillshare or Udemy, you can teach anything from graphic design to cooking, because the world is your classroom, literally. And probably the best way to get your content out there and teach more people how to do things would be YouTube. And that's exactly what I did with this YouTube channel. And that's exactly what hundreds of thousands of other people have done as well. And if you're interested in getting started on YouTube, I do have a free crash course guide on how to get started on YouTube, which will teach you everything you need to know to get started. And I'll put that down in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a freelance writer. Now I know what some of you are thinking, but Shane, I'm not a writer. Trust me, if you can string a sentence together, you can make money as a freelance writer. And when I was building my first YouTube channels, I had to write scripts. I also had to write video descriptions, you name it. And it taught me that writing is a skill that you can develop and it's also high in demand. And businesses need content for their blogs, websites, social media, etc. You name it, they need content for it. And they're willing to pay good money for it as well. We're talking anywhere from 20 to $100 per article. And depending on your experience and the complexity of the topic, you can make even more than that. So you want to start by creating a portfolio, write about topics you're passionate about or you know a lot about, then check out platforms like Upwork or Fiverr to find gigs. Or you can even reach out to local businesses and offer to write content for their websites or social media. Remember, the key here is to find topics you enjoy writing about. That way, it won't even feel like work. But here's where you can really level up. Specialize in a high demand niche. Maybe it's technical writing for software companies or writing sales copy for e-commerce businesses. The more specialized you are, the more you can charge. And don't just limit yourself to articles. There's money to be made in writing ebooks, white papers, and even scripts for YouTube videos. The written word is everywhere and someone's got to write it. So why not you? Next, we've got virtual assistants. And this one is perfect if you're organized and good at managing your time. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. When I was scaling my YouTube channel and my agency, I hired virtual assistants to help me manage everything. And let me tell you, good VAs are worth their weight in gold. And now the first ever VA that I hired is the general manager of my entire business. So this is an incredible opportunity for you to work with people who are high level in the business and to move into different careers down the line. So a lot of the time as a VA, you'll be working with executives, managers, presidents, or even CEOs very closely. And you could be doing anything from managing emails and calendars to handling social media or even basic graphic design. And the best part, it's all remote and you can often set your own hours. So rates for VAs in the US can range from 15 to $50 an hour, depending on your skills and the tasks that you're handling. And trust me, there are plenty of entrepreneurs and small business owners out there who desperately need your help. So to get started, create a profile on platforms like Fancy Hands or Zirtual, or reach out to local businesses and offer your services directly. But here's where you can really stand out. Develop a specialized skill set. Maybe you become an expert in project management software like Asana or Trello, or you could specialize in email marketing or customer service, or you could specialize in working with specific types of businesses like real estate agencies. And basically, the more familiar you are with the industry and the more value you can offer, the more you can charge. And who knows, you might even discover a business idea of your own while working for someone else. And that's exactly how I got the idea for my agency. Now let's talk about some bonus tips to make most of these remote jobs. Time management is key. When you're juggling classes and remote work, you need to be a master of your schedule. So use tools like Rescue Time or Toggle to track how you're spending your time. Also create a dedicated workspace, even if it's just the corner of your dorm room. Having a specific place to work helps you get in the right mindset. And if you don't have any room in your dorm room, then make sure you always go to a cafe or a library and set things up there. And then network, network, network. Every client or colleague could be a future business partner or job opportunity. So treat every interaction like it could lead to something big. Also, always be learning. The online world moves fast, so stay updated with the latest trends in your field, follow industry leaders on social media, read blogs, watch YouTube videos like this one, and don't forget about self-care, right? Because it's easy to burn out when you're hustling. So make sure you're getting enough sleep, eating well, and taking breaks because your future self will thank you. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Shane, this all sounds great, but I'm scared to start. And let me tell you something. Everyone starts somewhere. When I was selling rubber lizards in casinos at like five or six years old, do you think I knew that I'd end up running a successful agency? Heck no. The point is, don't be afraid to start small. Every empire starts with a single brick and who knows, the side hustle you start today could be your million dollar business tomorrow. Now, before we wrap up, let's address some common questions I get about remote work for students. One question is something along the lines of, won't remote work distract me from my studies? And the answer to that is it can if you let it, but if you manage your time well, it can actually make you more disciplined and focused. Another question is, do I need any special equipment? And the answer is for most of these jobs, all you need is a reliable computer and internet. 
internet connection. And it's also a good idea to invest in a good headset if you'll be doing a lot of video calls. Another question is, what if I don't have any experience? Well, everyone starts off somewhere, so focus on building skills and a portfolio, take on small projects at first and work your way up. When you have proof that you've done things, you've actually gotten paid by other people, that's gonna make it much more likely that people are going to pay you for your services. Another question is, is it legal for international students to do remote work? And the answer here is this depends on your visa status and the laws of your country. So always check with your university's international student office first. Another question I get is how do I make sure I don't get scammed? And the answer to that is stick to reputable platforms and never pay to apply for a job. And if something sounds way too good to be true, it probably is. And by the way, there are better jobs that are available out there, but a lot of the time you have to get training and certifications. If you wanna know what the absolute best and highest paying certifications are, you can check out this video right here.